And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is JFam. JFam is ranked number two in his platinum division with 1,137 points, 76 wins, and 68 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the east up against JFam. He is the brute blue, blue, blue Protoss player in the north. The map is Scrap Station. And this is no, actually one of my best maps, but not one of my favorite maps. I, I usually do well on it, but I don't like it all that much, to be honest with you. We should be seeing something... Well, I usually like to go for medevac drops on this map, usually though that's a second tier strategy. My first instinct is to go for three racks on this map, even though the, the rush distance is so long, I have had a lot of success with that. But right now, there's no time to get the three racks up, there's just time to get the supply depot, that, so that is what I am going for. Meanwhile, he is going for a pylon, so we are seeing two completely different strategies out of us. Uh, typically that does happen when we are different races, but you never know with these Protoss players that could warp in something that you've never seen before. Probe and SCV narrowly avoiding each other, and yes, once he comes in, I put one of my SCVs right on him. Looks like I almost trapped him for a second there. Oh, tried to get him, couldn't do it. No. Get him. Doesn't look like I got any damage done on him. Still no damage done. The shields is what Kara did. Try to get him now! Oh man, I fail at picking off pros as I go through the mineral line. I'm not good at that at all. He is going to be going for pylon gateway pylon. Meanwhile, he is chrono boosting the nexus with almost nothing in it but, yeah, one probe. Yeah, it looks like most of that was wasted, though. It looks like I have begun to do some damage to that probe, but he's still going all the way around my base. He's going to see the refinery, so he does know a couple things, even though he hasn't been able to see much of anything else. Looks like I... Now just going for the, the supply depot. Yeah, just the supply depot. It is looks like uh, my second Rex is a little bit late. He will be seeing the reactor on my initial barracks. That does give him quite a bit of information there. It does tell him that I'll be going for infantry and we already see one zealot out on the field for him. Oh, am I going to get him out? Yes, it looks like I get my SCV out in time, so neither one of us has lost a damn thing to this point. Looking at my base, I am finally getting three racks up. So this is once again going to be a pretty standard strategy for me in this game. Passing by the probe, that's chilling out the Zelnoi Tower. The Zealot's still following him. Will the Zealot make it to my base? No, he stops him and puts him at the Zelnaga Tower. A very smart move there. Because of course the Zelnaga Tower does guard the only pathway between the two bases while giving you sight over both of the expansions it is a very well placed on the tower and something that I forget to use very often uh, on this map I don't always remember that this on the tower is so powerful on this map we are seeing a sentry coming out of the gateway once again I'm not used to seeing a sentry being trained like that usually that's just being left in and we go two gate robo is what looks like it's going to be happening on the other side. Meanwhile, my three racks is almost completed here. I do have Marines, Marauders, and Stimpak on the way. Do I have enough for concussive shells? It does look like I do, and there it goes. Meanwhile, I am getting... Well, he is getting... This, this would be him. Let's look at our APM, actually. Oh, he's absolutely crushing me. Oh, two to one. However, will I stay in the game? Oh, wait. Nine Marines, two Marauders, one, two, two. I'd say it's about even. 
I even have the lead in terms of minerals in the army, and, but I'm behind. No, I'm ahead in the supply count, so I don't know. The APM, it's uh, a little bit overrated if you ask me. There's definitely some things that need to be done with um, a high amount of APM, like 150, uh, but in terms of average, what you do during the game like this, there's not much to be done here. As you can see, I am oversaturated here. It looks like I have 23 and a mule, 24th now on the way. That is too many. He's going to be sending his observer into my base. Meanwhile, it looks like he's going to be going for the destructible rocks, or maybe he's just hiding everybody. Proxy pylon. Well, not a proxy pylon, but he's putting a pylon here to keep an eye on the debris. Uh, meanwhile, he is going to be going for an expansion. That's what I assume. Uh, maybe not. Oh, uh, looks like he spotted with that zealot at the Zelmaya Tower. What was going on? Oh, he was able to snipe my marine with that zealot. Uh, that is not a good trade-off, though, and I would not recommend it. So I'm going inside his base. Uh, because he did have the Zelmaya Tower, he had time to warp in this entire army. It should be enough to finish me off. Even though I'm focusing down everything I can, these force fields are screwing me open pretty much. I am going to get some damage shot. Am I going to be able to take up the pylon? Yes, I do, but unfortunately there is not much else for me to take out here. Uh, now that Team Stalker is being immortal out here, there is not much more I can do. I'm trying to focus down the immortal because it is so expensive, but like, you know, dark skitters away. I never know what to say about how the immortal walks, but I'm going to say he skitters, he waddles, something to that effect. That is what he does away. Meanwhile, I am going for the expansion inside my base. This automaton was like, dude, how'd you make that big building? I didn't see any supplies or nothing. What? So I am going to be expanding here. He does not have his expansion. Looks like he is going to be prepping that right now. He is playing Marines and Marauders. I am playing Marines and Marauders out in front of my base. Uh, no damage done to the destructible rocks. Looks like this, these people are just here to, to keep an eye on that. Uh, plus keep an eye on um, anybody going into the main base. Maybe get a small little flank around the back. I, I, to be fair though, I am very tired right now. But I, 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 my original plan was to do some live broadcasting today. But unfortunately I was so tired that I was not playing well. So I've decided against it. And as you can see by how I'm speaking to you right now, live broadcasting would not have been a good idea. I am going to go for the transfer here. I transferred a little bit too many probes, as you can see. I still don't have uh, full saturation on that refinery, and I still have, looks like, 14. That would be 14 SCVs on the mineral line. Twilight Council and the fourth gateway aren't on the way. Nothing coming out of the robotics facility. Um, yeah, I said Twilight Council, right? Yeah. So we should be seeing either uh, tech into Dark Templars, or we should be seeing some kind of blink or charge, uh, charge zealots coming from the Protoss player. I'm going for weapons level 1 upgrade, along with combat shield. Five Rex is now up. The observer is here. I don't think I saw him. Uh, usually when I've been seeing him, I just go ahead and drop a scan on him and, and destroy him almost instantly. I don't know if that's really worth it, but it is annoying the crap out of me that there's an observer there. So I know they're pretty cheap to replace, but I don't like observers, so I'm willing to sacrifice the scan to get rid of them. Looks like I do have enough for a scan, and so I must not have seen the observer there. But I am moving out with my army. Doesn't look like his... Oh, there we go. He just now catching on to the fact, hey, you know, the, the army's not there anymore. Uh, what's he going for? He is going to be going for charge. He's going to be getting some charge zealots here. And I'm instantly moving in to the debris here because I know that he has to have an, have an expansion. There's no way anybody would not have one better. And I'm closing down the pylon that I saw. The probe is going to get away from me. I did not see him yet. Now I'm focusing down to debris, and 
yes, I know exactly what he's going to be doing here. He's going to be going around here trying to fight the army. So instead of meeting him there, I, I move around the long way and I go straight into his face and knowing exactly what he was going to be doing here. And let me just pause it for a second here because I want to explain that again. I know it's pretty simple and it's just something that people don't necessarily think of, but this is why it was so important. So I took out the rocks here, or the debris. I knew he saw that because of the pylon, and I knew that he was going to be moving the main force of his army over here, right, T to try to defend this expansion. So instead of taking out the expansion, because you're not going to split your army in half, right, you're just going to send the whole army over here to take out, to defend uh, what you desperately need, really. So I moved it over here, and I went instantly up the ramp. Why did I go up the ramp? Because I knew that he was going to have sentries. And if I hit the high ground, then he's not going to want to uh, force field the ramp. If he was up here and I was moving down here, he could just drop three force fields, it looks like, and keep me down here while he builds up an army. But while I'm in his base, he can't avoid the fight. He has to fight it right now. Uh, the force fields that are being dropped are just uh, to, to make sure that these guys don't get very many attacks in. So the, the sentries are pretty much... Um, I don't want to say useless, but their efficiency has gone way down due to this move here. Okay, let's go. So I'm moving in, once again, a ton of force fields, but that is not enough, and he is forced to GG. Oh, I'm so happy about that. That is why I stopped it and showed it to you guys, because it was almost instantaneous GG. I caught his army out of position due to a just a, a, a simple little trick. Anybody can do it. Take out the rocks or debris or whatever. If you if your opponent knows you're, you're doing it, and then just go the other way. Just just pretend like oh well I'm going into his main base. This is my favorite map to do it in because it is the easiest one to do it, and I recommend everybody to do it. It's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope you enjoyed the little new strategy here. I know I probably over-explained it, and you guys probably already realized this. And I believe I explained it before, but it's just never, um, never been done so well. If I may uh, uh, clap myself, uh, applaud myself, pat myself on the back, whatever you want, whatever phrase you wanna to use. Uh, let's just uh, quickly look at what's going on for me. Got 1,900, 800. That is way too high. Uh, only producing four marines. No marauders coming out. Uh, nothing coming out of the engineering bay. Uh, I do have uh, the expansion with gas. I'm going for the third. Um, I, I still never teched up. So there's still more that I could be doing in this game, but really that that one little micro move there really saved it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.